He's in Oregon? Yeah. Norman, Norman! Grenade. Hey, welcome back guys. It's been an amazing year traveling some of the most epic airsoft sites around the world. And to celebrate such a year, I once again put together all the worst, best, and funniest moments of 2022. Just like last year, you guys can vote on your favorite moment of the year by commenting the clip's number down below in the comment section. But first, let's have a look at what you guys voted as the best moments of last year, 2021. <laughs> Hit! <laughs> oh, f one. Ah. Oh. And now let's take a look at the best moments for 2022. Before we get started with 2022, I am now a lord. Yes, I am now a lord, courtesy of Established Titles. Established Titles is a project based on an old Scottish custom where landowners are referred to as Lord or Laird. The purchase of one title pack makes you the proud owner of a square foot of dedicated land on a private estate in Edelston, Scotland, granting you your lordship or ladyship. Your certificate comes with a unique plot number with which you can see the exact location of your land. Fun part is, the first 200 people from this channel, including myself, will have their plots next to each other so we can basically buy ourselves an airsoft field in Scotland. You can officially change your name on your credit card or plane tickets to reflect your newly acquired lordship. And the best part is we plant the tree with every order and work with global charities, one tree planted and trees for the future to support global reforestation efforts. An amazing last minute gift for the holidays, supporting a good cause. Established Titles is also running a Black Friday sale right now. And if you use code Silo Entertainment, you get an additional 10% discount on top of that. Go to establishedtitles.com slash silo entertainment to get your gifts ready for the holidays and become a lord or lady in Scotland. Thank you very much to Established Titles for being a great sponsor to the channel. The man hell, man. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Get him. This is actually a 2011, so it's a double stack 1911. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. Damn, bro. Are you okay? No, oh, bro. Work for two. Does it still work though? Oh.
<laughs> Tango down. Tango down. Hit him right in the cheek. Okay, <laughs> I take it. <laughs> I surrender. Gaining entry to the fortress by myself, I'm hoping to gather information on the layout of the tunnel network and cause as much destruction as possible behind enemy lines. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> SRS A2. The real steel counterpart is a bullpup bolt action rifle ready to sling a massive 338 Lapua Magnum round. The bolt is placed behind the grip on this gun, which makes it quite unique. He's in Oregon? Yeah. Norman, Norman! Bruh, grenade. Okay then. I think it'll be fun for this video just to go over all my airsoft guns. SVD, there we go. Drop the bolt, let's give it a go. Oh my God, this fucking scope is terrible. <laughs> okay, that's cool. <laughs> So this is the RPG-7. This is a gas-powered RPG, so it actually shoots out the whole projectile. The, the rocket that it comes with, that it fires, has a CO2 cartridge inside the nose cone. It fires out, it basically hits surface like this, and it'll fire the CO2 inside the nose cone. However, to suppress the sound, I have fitted it with a massive suppressor, almost bigger than the rifle itself. I have to punch a hole in their defenses before I stand a chance of identifying a possible breaching site of the outer walls.
as we brought out my brand new Striker 12. This is one of the rarest airsoft guns in the world as it's only one of a hundred in total. This gun, like its real life counterpart, uses a rotating drum holding 12 rounds for rapid shotgun fire and semi-automatic. This is my MP5, it's by Swit Airsoft. This thing is powered by propane. It's gonna stick in a magazine. Of course, the MP5 slap is included and now it's ready to fire. TAC 41, I've got a massive, massive suppressor on the end of here. Dampens the sound quite a bit. Really smooth, nice bolt tool with a nice big bolt handle here that has got like a little twist to it. An overall smooth operating rifle. M4A1 Hyper Beast. The rifle itself is a gas-powered pre-upgraded rifle by Sweat Airsoft for the best performance and extremely close in form and function to the real thing with felt recoil enough to rattle the sh** out of my cameras. Complete with its own working stat track module. Oh my god. I'll take it too, man. Good kill, man. Yeah, good kill. <laughs> Together with my good friend Airsoft Alphonse, our squad support gunner, AKM or AK-47. If you look at the insides here, people might find this in indistinguishable from the from the real thing. Uh, but we've got a. I guess I'll figure that out. So I'm pretty sure. Now that's cool. Gas powered, full auto, crazy fire rate Uzi by Swit Airsoft. This airsoft adaptation being almost identical in form and function to the real thing. Take the long way around where we spot an enemy squad taking up position in the building ahead. Good out of ammo. Whoa. Thanks. <laughs> Ha <laughs> 
Oh, oh, no. oh my god. Oh my ankle. Yeah. <laughs> MP40. Never actually shot this gun. This is a CO2 powered gun. Of course, the gun's best sweet airsoft, like a lot of my other guns. I guess we just give it a go. I'm not sure if this is fires from open bolt or not. Let's shoot in there. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Did a BB hit the camera? <laughs> Come on, come on. Stop, stop, stop. Yes. Springfield M14. It has realistic action. The bolt actually rotates in and out of battery, just like the real one. Picks up around every time that you pull the trigger. <laughs> Let's give it a shot. Not having found a way to the upper floors yet, the terrible smelling flooded basement at least provided me with a way inside the main structure. We need to find a way up high as soon as possible. This is the Car 98K. It was a real Car 98K that was used during the war, World War II and has been converted to an airsoft gun by Matt Fowler in England. It's even got the spicy, you know, <laughs> markings. Yeah, the, you know, the spicy eagle, let's say. And shoots great. Thompson submachine gun. Last time you guys have seen this thing, I quit the drum mic. And now it's on full auto. So let's see how it runs on full auto. Sawed off double barreled shotgun. Takes these shotgun shells, so these like 12 gauge, I guess, shells, what you would call them. Um, and basically, you have, uh, well, you can first slap it shut, and then you have two triggers down here. Pops somebody around the corner, or somebody's like in a window. Shoot them like that. <laughs> <laughs> to provide covering fire to the reinforcements incoming on ground level. What the fuck? Oh. Oh, enemy, enemy, enemy. Behind glass. Yeah. 
Yeah, let's move. Desert Eagle, full metal, uh, Desert Eagle. Can you see in here? Mm -hmm. It's pretty dark. It's pretty dark? Go for it. Yeah! <laughs> well, that's fun. <laughs> I think it's a little misaligned. I think some of them might be a little misaligned and it's causing like a, you can see a lot of BB hits on this one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry, Mom. This is the SSP 45 carbine kit. It's got a uh, pistol inside, so this is a high cap of pistol. Turns it into a little submachine gun. It's got a bolt handle now, so basically you do, like you cycle it like that. And of course, it's got the full auto as well, which is a lot more fun. <laughs> It has been an amazing year for Airsoft. 2022 is a wrap and the next year has plenty of projects and travel opportunities already lined up. So make sure to subscribe for that and a Merry Christmas and a very happy 2023. Special thanks to Established Titles for sponsoring this video and make sure to go check them out with the link in the description.